Alright, hello everyone and welcome to WWE Discussion. I'm your host of WWE this is Dougie Doug. In today's episode I'm going to be discussing NXT November 1st, 2022 episode. So in this episode of NXT, well, they were still picking up the pieces following Halloween Havoc. Uh, Mandy Rose would be celebrating one year of, well, her, ra- her one year anniversary as NXT Women's Champion. Ron Baker would make his first appearance since uh, Halloween Havoc. And um, yeah, with that, we'll go ahead and get right into the action. Starting with the opening segment of the show, so Ron Baker kicks off the show, gets interrupted by Pretty Deadly, and then Wesley would follow suit. Um, the NXT champion and North American champion would then challenge the tag team champions to put the tag team titles on the line against them later in the show. That match would be made official, and that would be the main event. So the interaction between uh, these four competitors is fun. Breaker continued to show that he does have an entertaining side to him, that he does have a bit of a comedic side to him, so not entirely one dimensional as a character. Uh, and Lee, well, continued to challenge himself on the mic, and you know, which is always good to see because he does it fairly well. Uh, pretty deadly held it down and remained the best part of the NXT tag team division. Now, the show could use a hook with a card that lacks some hype going into the show. NXT had a plan. Now, Breaker and Lee as a tag team doesn't make much sense, but it made for an engaging match in the main event. Um, and the hope would be that challengers would emerge throughout the night to create new stories in NXT. Uh, and those, yeah, while fans get a fun one-off encounter in the main event, that hope was not realized. Yes, Briggs and Jensen want next, but they should not be next. Uh, Elba Fire ruins Mandy Rose's championship celebration. So Mandy Rose put herself over during her uh, championship celebration alongside Toxic Attraction. Smoke appeared and when there's smoke there's fire and Elba Fire would come out of the smoke and attack Toxic Attraction, putting JC or GG Dolan through a table and then promising to win the title in two weeks time. Uh, but not before taking out JC Jane in the process. So. This promo from Rose is probably one of her best that she's cut in the past year. Angry and heartfelt, selling how much this reign has meant to her. It seems that before Rose can look forward, she'll have to defeat Fryer one more time. If Dalton and Jane can be taken out ahead of time, Rose and Fryer uh, should be able to put on an engaging final match in their feud. And also, Rose needs to win matches on her own, so hopefully Dalton and JC are non-factors in that next match. Zoe Stark versus Indy Hartwell, and Stark was controlled and fueled by her frustration in this match, losing her composure repeatedly. Surprised she wasn't disqualified. Uh, she thought about powerbombing Indy wrestling through the announce table, but Lions convinced her not to. Hartwell then hit a big booter running clothesline to score the win. Well, this was certainly one of the better matches Hartwell has had in some time. She looked like a veteran playing off Stark, who remains a consistent pro in NXT. It was a surprising victory that could help Indy Wrestling's direction in NXT. Meanwhile, it looks like Starks is heading down a dark path that could lead to her breaking up of Lions. If so, if that is the direction that NXT is going, it would make the effort put into making them a team a waste of time. And also shorthand the women's division. Granted, it was already shorthanded anyway, but you took away work, you know, a team that certainly had some potential. Granted, ultimately, there's not really much NXT can do with these tag teams. I mean, you put together a tag team, but then they almost immediately got to get thrown into the title scene because there's, almost, mm-hmm. there's nobody else available to challenge. Look at the main roster. They're having the same issue with their women's tag team division. So... I guess in a way I understand that you put some time into building up a team so you have challengers ready to go and then as a result then the team breaks up and then you got nobody so it's a bit of an issue right there but um yeah that's kind of the women's division women's tag team division in a nutshell then the show concludes with the tag team title match uh pretty deadly versus Bra- Braun Breaker and Wesley and as Breaker was brought up another prince outside Kamal Hayes would appear and dump Wesley to the floor, allowing Kit Wilson to steal a pinfall. Or not to the floor, I think he dumped him in the ring. Um, after the surprise finish, Von Wagner would appear and basically nail breaker with a big boot. Pretty deadly, once again, uh, dominates against capable competition. Wilson and Prince might come off as ridiculous, but this team has consistently delivered as the tag team champions. This match was less than it could have been. Probably sh- probably could have gone another five minutes, but it was still a fun main event. What mattered more was how many new threats were set up for Breaker as the title picture continues to evolve. 
Breaker versus Wagner. Probably not the most exciting matchup, but at least NXT isn't waiting for NXT Deadline to get main event stories moving. And plus, NXT Deadline isn't until December, so what are you going to wait a whole month? Might as well start, you know, making things happen now. Start growing the NXT title scenes and kind of setting some things up so that way, when that way, as you get closer to Deadline, you're able to have some things in place and you can start building some stories. At least I would hope that's what the plan is. And with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode of WWE Discussion. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button down below.